and clear here. I am so tired. I've had one meal today. Oh, remind me, I've got to have another meal. This seat, that's my first point. Eat food, okay? Yo, where's my jumper? Hey, we're filming, man. What jumper? It's my school jumper, the one. Oh, no, no. The it's room. in the wash. It's going to be in the wash. Why is it in the wash? Because I've weared it twice. You weared it, yeah? I wore it. <laughs> Get out, man. Oh, I don't know what I can study. You messed up my foot. But we're gonna film now, yeah? So, better be. Alright, let me zoom in again. Okay, where was I? Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait train. Ah! <laughs> okay, people. <laughs> Woo! Are you f chubby? Yeah? You got a bit of extra fat here and there. You don't know how to lose it. You keep just getting. Fatter and fatter and fatter, and you don't know what to do about it, man. And that holiday's coming up. Yeah, you know that beach? You don't want to be that guy on the beach wearing a shirt. You don't want to be that guy. You trying every diet on the planet, and it's not working. You trying every supplement, and it's not working, man. You trying those tea, teas that those models promote on Instagram, and that's not working either. You even tried the waist trainer and that's not working. What the heck, what's going on? You don't know how to burn fat, that's what's going on, mate. Oh, we're gonna get serious. In this video today, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm nothing but the truth, so help me God. I'm gonna lay down the facts, and you can take it or leave it, but it's gonna be true. Okay? The easiest way to lose fat is to eat less and exercise more. Bring up your activity level so you burn more calories. It's very simple. Okay? You drop your calories down and you exercise more. This doesn't mean weight training, doesn't mean cardio, it just means bring up your activity level so you burn more calories. The problem with that is when you do do that, like you do a lot of cardio, like running and jogging and swimming and stuff, you lose a lot of muscle. And so what happens is you lose all your muscle, you have no shape and you become a skinny fat person, yeah? It's possible, you can be anorexic and have a high body fat percentage. It's very possible, yeah? So, what I'm going to show you, how am I holding this? Um, what I'm going to show you is how you can slowly over time lose fat and maintain your muscle and build more muscle and look better and shape your body, yeah? It's very easy. It all depends on what your goals are, how you want to look down the line when you're doing this um, journey, from fat loss journey. So, if you want to look muscular by the end of it, you got to do certain things to do that. If you just want to lose fat and you're all about what you, what the scale says, you know, you want to lose 10 pounds, you want to lose a uh, couple kgs, then there's ways to do it, okay? But if you're about what you look like physically, you want abs, you want more shaped arms, you want nicer legs or whatever, there's things you got to implement. So you, when you're doing it, you can do it together. And by the end of it, you got what you want, yeah? So. If you just want to lose weight and you're all about the scale, not about what you look like, drop your calories, eat, eat less, okay? And bring up your activity level, that means do more running, swim more, play more sports, okay? And you're, you'll gradually lose the weight. Now, if you want to get a bit leaner and you want to lose a lot of fat and get some abs or whatever, you, wanna, you want your, your abs to show you want to have some chest separation and stuff like that. You've got to build muscle. Weight training is very important. Very important because it builds muscle. Yeah? All the cardio and the HTT, all the interval training and all the fast moving burns and burns and wears away a lot of your muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories your body needs to burn. Building muscle burns fat. Exercises that build a lot of muscle, squat, deadlift. Okay, train your big muscles like the leg, your legs and your back and you're going to burn a lot of fat because you're going to have more muscle which means you're going to burn more calories because your body needs to burn more calories to maintain that muscle. Okay, it's a bit confusing but just build a lot of muscle and you, you burn that fat. Okay, so once you've got all the points to burn fat and you know how to burn it, you build all the muscle, what I want you to do is stay off the scales, okay? Don't use the scales to determine how you're losing fat. Look in the mirror, yeah? Watch your body composition and what's going on, okay? That is how you see what's happening and see if what you're doing is working, okay? So, clean up your diet. If you're trying to lose fat, reduce your calories. Get some more sleep in. Bring up your activity level, okay? If you're trying to maintain your muscle mass, 
and build more muscle, you gotta hit the weights, okay? You gotta do the compound lifts, you gotta build that the big muscles, okay, the legs and the back. When you're building muscle, you don't wanna drop your calories that much because you need the calories to help you recover and build the muscle, okay? You need the fats to help you build muscle and help you recover quicker. But the good fats, okay, so like the omega-3 in fish and stuff like that, you want uh, the fats and nuts. These fats are good fats, okay? They help you recover quicker. So yeah, one of the biggest things that I hate so much, okay? Kills me, is, oh, I wanna lose my stomach fat. What's the best exercise for burning stomach fat? There is no best exercise there. You cannot target your fat cells, okay? You cannot say, I wanna burn the fat in my biceps so I can get more vascular. I wanna burn the fat in my stomach so I can see my abs finally. <laughs> okay, you can target your muscles, cannot target fat okay so when you burn fat it's an overall burning okay depending on genetics where you put on weight is where it will gradually burn first okay so I'm Indian and it normally goes on my, my waist and my hips and stuff like that and I put on fat there so it's gonna burn there first okay I don't put it on my my neck and my cheeks and stuff my arms my legs it goes to my, my, my waist first, okay? That's where I put the fat on. So when I lose fat, this gets this gets all slimmer, everything gets tighter, and then this finally loses all the weight, okay? So when you are losing fat, do not be specific with it. It's gonna be overall. You're just gonna be consistent, which is the biggest part of it, okay? You're gonna be consistent with your diet, consistent with your sleep, and consistent with your training. Otherwise, nothing's gonna happen for you. A minimum of two weeks. If you're sticking to any diet, any program, two weeks minimum. If you don't see results, then change it maybe. But you have to stick to it. You've got to be consistent with everything. Otherwise, you ain't going to get no results. And you've got to really want it to lose it and get the body you, you want. So, that's the video. I think there's probably tons of stuff I missed out. I'm very tired. Sorry about that. Um, but that is the basis of losing fat, okay? It's really easy to do. You just gotta be very consistent and you gotta want it, okay? So guys, go out there and lose that fat. Get that dream body you want. Hope this helped a little bit. So, you wanna lose fat, you gotta build muscle. <laughs> okay, uh, Is the red light on? It is on, right? I'm so tired. I'm, trying, I'm gonna try and get this out to you guys, though, because I want you guys to burn muscle and build fat. Oh, my <laughs> I want you guys to build muscle and burn fat because you know what, you guys are always asking me these questions and I'm tired of saying this, this is how tired I am, I'm falling asleep right now. So, let me just say this, weight training is the best way to build muscle. Right, you agree with me? Good. <laughs>